morning, Alice. Thanks for coming down today. Thanks, Matt. It's a beautiful morning. It sure is. Um, you've been, how long have you been a member here and what attracts you to the club? I think it's about 10 years I've been a member and I like, like this moment now, the mix of being in nature in a unique place. The city, the boats, and this is a place to sleep. Yeah, great answer. Um, you're a general practitioner at the Brighton Medical Clinic. Yes, I am. How's the current crisis affected the way you do consult clients? It's affected it dramatically. Yeah. We've shifted in a, really in a matter of a week to two weeks to telephone consultation. So, ringing in and uh, either waiting in the car and we can go out to the car or bringing them in for a moment. It's changed it dramatically because how I practice was your one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one relatability to your clients, how are they managing, how are they managing with that? Are they managing okay? Well, that's a really good question and I'm just stating my observations. The first week there was just stress and panic naturally and particularly amongst the elderly, the isolation and the loss of daily love from uh, the physical contact with their loved ones. Interestingly, I've been impressed with the younger families that I've seen and younger adults that are finding the less hectic pace of their life has just enabled them to reflect and get a joy in the daily moment. And you would notice here the number of young families with kids on their bikes and walking mm. outside in the morning that we've never seen on mm. a daily basis the kids are normally off at school and now they're mm. homeschooling and they've seen that joy of family connection so that's what i've been able to observe mm. given the change in weather i wonder how long <laughs> we'll observe that each week we observe new things <laughs> Yeah, so let's we can we can see what will happen there. Picking up on what you just said there, um, balancing the health and well-being and people's livelihoods versus the health risk of coronavirus. Do you think now we've all got a good handle on it? We're all got the app and we're washing our hands and we're all super educated on it. Do you think now's balanced and the right time to start releasing restrictions? Well, I leave that to the public health experts, but uh, we've done marvellously in Australia. Stopping the flights, boats being able to dock. Uh, we've been very vigilant and the hand washing in particular. I'd like to see kids back at school. I'd like to have a little bit more flexibility with the elderly, I'm talking from a personal perspective. Yeah. So we'll wait and see, but um, it is a balance. I'd, I'd like to see a bit more freedom. I don't play golf, but the golfers here in Victoria would just like to, to do that. And that's part of being human. It's, yeah. it's, it's to be Given your rituals and health rituals that obviously the health club's closed, how are you 
finding your own personal well-being and fitness? How are you, how are you getting that at the moment, given the health clubs closed? I've surprised myself, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've, well, many of the members here have just shifted to swim alongside here, yeah. and I've done the same. And we've actually just loved the bathing boxes, yeah. and uh, I've been surprised. I've been brave too, Matt, of just going out there swimming and drying myself off without the hot shower. And uh, so I suppose humans are resilient when they find options. And so I've been able to keep my swimming up and the bike riding and walking. So it's, it's been a, actually a plus I hadn't imagined. So. I guess the extra chill. <laughs> the consequences is a bit of invigoration with that. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much for sharing a few minutes of your time. We uh, love having you at the club when we are open and about. And I just personally enjoy seeing everyone's face at getting a coffee or whatever in the morning. So, yeah, it is a really good community we've got here, and I value you in it. And thanks, um, thanks for your time. I must admit, just walking in here. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs>